Hey everyone, Patrick here with Red Six Race Gear for another product review. Today we have the Sparco Tide KG9 gloves. Now these are a high-end Sparco glove, really some of the best in the business. If you're really looking for a no compromises, best carding glove that you can get, the Tide KG9 is definitely a consideration. It is a outside stitch uh, glove. As you can tell, the seams are on the outside pretty much the entire way around. Has kind of a unique uh, grip on here. It's almost like little, I don't even know what you call that, like little suction cups almost. Looks like kind of like an octopus tentacle on there. Uh, so lots of grip, lots of good feel on there. But one of the things about this glove that really is hard to describe in video, but is really the key selling point is how comfortable these are. It's pre-curved, so you can see you put your um, hand inside of there. It has a nice curve to it. It's like ready to grab the wheel. And what's great about that is that when you do grab the wheel, it doesn't really bunch up right here. If you have some of the lower end gloves that are just kind of cut flat, so you're so it's designed to be like that, it'll bunch up when you, when you grab the wheel a little bit and kind of create some excess material. This glove doesn't do that. So you can see when you have your hand straight, it's kind of bunching up right here on top of the fingers because that's not the way it's designed to be because your hand's never gonna be straight like that when you're in a go-kart grabbing onto a steering wheel. So comfort is the main point of this glove. It's got some padding here on the knuckle as well as on the wrist just a little bit. It's available in a few different colors, black, blue, red, white, uh, and it's just a glove that just is not going to leave you disappointed because it's going to do everything you want it to do. It's going to be every bit as comfortable as any other glove out there, uh, but it's going to have really this, the grip here and the cut of the uh, fingers here where it's pre-curved. That's really the major point of these gloves. It's one of those deals where if you get a lesser glove, what it's going to be doing, it's going to be saving money by just not having as much technology in it as far as the way that it's designed, the way it's cut, being super custom as far as what it's designed to do. You know, a $60 glove is going to work just fine for most people. It's just not going to have that little tiny bit extra, and that's what you're paying it for extra on these Tide gloves. These are going to last you quite a while. Um, no glove's going to last you forever. That's something that I always like to point out is that a glove is designed to be an item that does wear out after a season or two, depending on how often you wear it. So don't be surprised. Any glove on the market, when you buy it, it's not going to last you 10 years. That's just not what they're designed to do. That's at the sacrifice of that's the sacrifice you make for them being super comfortable and having a ton of grip. In the old days when gloves used to have kind of the leather palms, have no feel on the steering wheel and be almost like a welding glove, yeah, they'd last like 10 years, but they were super uncomfortable, didn't really do the job for you very well, but they lasted forever. So for me, give me that high-end glove that wears out after a season that's going to give me the best grip, the best of everything that you can have, the best comfort. It's worth it every time. And if you take good care of them, you should get a couple seasons out of it without much trouble. Um, but it all depends on you. If you're racing once a month, you're going to get several seasons out of it. If you're out there every weekend or twice a week, that kind of thing, yeah, they're going to wear out a little bit faster. And that's something to be aware of with every glove on the market. So what I'm getting at there is that you want to make the investment into yourself, into the gloves that you want, get the thing that fits you right. Yeah, it is a there's a price difference between, say, a $90 Aero KG7, which is one of the most popular gloves on the market. It's a great glove. And then the next step up, it goes from $90 up to $160. And that's what these Tide gloves cost. So you might go, wow, that's a big price increase. And it is. But you got to really try it on to understand. And, it, you know, nobody can tell you what the right glove is for you. But to me, these are totally worth the money. They're worth the little bit extra that you need to pay in order to get these gloves. It's just a matter of when you put it on, you'll kind of understand because, Pun intended, it fits like a glove, and you won't really understand it till you put it on, but once you do, you'll get it. People who wear these tend to wear them for a while, and they replace them with the same glove. Most people, once they've tried them, they don't switch to anything else. So this is the Sparco Tide KG9 glove, highly recommended. If you're somebody who's really gonna take your karting seriously, if you're somebody who's just starting out, maybe doing some arrive and drive, four stroke karting, you know, a couple times a year, probably not the glove you need. You can make sure that this is something you wanna do a lot of first, but if you're out there, competing in the Super Nats or racing Scusa Pro Tour or something like that, and you really need to have a glove that you know is going to work for you, this is a great option. So this has been Patrick with Red Six Race Gear. Thanks for tuning in. Later this week, we're going to do a review on the Adidas helmet bag. So that's something that uh, you can look forward to. It'll be right here on our YouTube channel as well as on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you're subscribing to all of those. We have different content floating around on all of our social media, so you don't want to be missing out on any of that YouTube Instagram, Facebook is our main ones. And we do have a Twitter account as well. But that's going to be a little bit more of a fun one uh, designed to uh, show people kind of comment on races, that kind of stuff. So for me, more of these product reviews, YouTube's where you want to be. So make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.